Hey everyone, Harris here with iDownloadBlog. These are the new second generation Snapchat spectacles. They're the second generation of eyeglass hardware coming from Snap Incorporated. I didn't get the first generation, but when these new ones came out uh, just a few days ago, I hopped right on it because I thought the idea was cool. And like I said, I didn't get the first generation. So here is the second, and we're gonna unbox it today. So opening up the box just reveals the package itself. And it looks like a tennis ball holder, um, very similar to it. In fact, it opens up like a can of Pringles. And inside you have the carrying case. Now the case is pretty nice. I read and saw that the old generation, the first generation, had a pretty large cumbersome carrying case. But this one is a lot more compact. You can see it's a little bit bigger than the standard Ray-Ban case. And it's pretty similar to a 5.4 sunglasses case that I have. So the size of the case is not bad. When you open it up, you have these sunglasses front and center. Underneath that, you have a little bit of paperwork, which actually is held in lightly by a magnet, which was just a nice touch that I liked. And then underneath that is the charging cable, which is a proprietary cable, unfortunately. It would be great if it had USB-C or something that you wouldn't have to remember to bring an extra cable along with you on any type of road trip. But it does have this cable here, which attaches to the case, which then charges the spectacles. And per the instruction manuals to install this, or I should say set it up, you simply go into the spectacle settings of Snapchat. You hold a couple buttons and you're on your way to pairing. It's really simple, really easy, and Snapchat did a great job. Now to use these themselves, you just press the button once and it will start recording, or you press and hold and it will take a photo. You then go over into the Snapchat app and the syncing isn't automatic, but it is pretty good and it is pretty quick. And when it's on the face, it looks, well, definitely a little bit wonky, definitely a little bit silly and does come in three colors. You can get the one that you want uh, as well as two different types of lenses or you can get prescription for all of them. And it does come in at $20 more than the previous generation. But the first impressions of these are that it is really cool. Um, I do plan on hopefully using this to get some kind of perspective shots for running, for types of things like that, lifestyle things. I wouldn't ever wear these for a pair of normal sunglasses if I um, wanted to look cool. I think they definitely do look a little bit silly, uh, better than the previous generation, and they're not overly bulky. I just think the design is a little bit weird. But the Snapchat Spectacles version 2 are really cool, and I definitely am a fan of what I've seen so far. Uh, they work really well, they're simple, and I think it's kind of an intuitive product to just always have that camera with you but not have the burden of a cell phone to distract you and take away from your experience. These are really for kind of a first-person point of view experience, perhaps an aid in vlogging as well. The only downside really is the fact that the video quality is pretty bad, but the microphones do sound decent. Anyway, this is a quick unboxing and first look at the new Snapchat spectacles. Leave a comment down below anything you want to know about these or want to see tested out in a video. Uh, but that's about it. Thank you for watching, and we will see you in the next episode.